The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Today, we're going to talk about Gucci Man artist FTO Set. Just got uh, arrested by the feds, man, on some serious charges. Let's jump straight into it. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, oh, I mean, I said FTO Set was uh, arrested uh, on drug charges and uh, getting caught with a switch case. Uh, for those that don't know, a switch is an attachment that you can put on the back of a firearm that pretty much turns a, um, a regular handgun to a semi-automatic. That's why it's so dangerous and the police don't want it on their streets. But just imagine a 13, 14-year-olds walking around with pretty much a machine gun because that's what it is. But uh, yeah, man, it ain't looking good for him, man. You know, the feds picked, it, picked this case up, which we already know because he got a name for himself and that's just what the feds do. You know, when you got a name for yourself and you get into some serious issues, you know, the feds, they, they be the first one at that court appearance to pick it up. Um, so, like I say, man, it's another Gucci Man artist, man, that's headed to prison, man. It's like, man, when you sign the 1017, man, it's like in a contract. It say eventually you will go to prison, but dang. Everybody signed a Gucci get locked up, man. You got Pooh Shiesty, Fujiano, you got him. Uh, uh, Hot Boy West has got sentenced to 15 years. Uh, dang. But, um, I wish him the best, man. Uh, but for all the kids out there, man, you know, that, uh, that looked up to, uh, oh, uh, FTO set, look up to Gucci, man. Just look up to anybody, period, man. Eventually in life, man, you got to move the right way. You know, um, a lot of these young dudes, they want to have their homies with them. Uh, they don't want to pay for, uh, armed security. But just put it to you like this, right? If you're making thirty, forty thousand, let's just, let's just say you're making fifty thousand dollars a month off shows, off touring, off verses, off interviews, off all of that, fifty thousand. Why wouldn't you pay out of that fifty thousand, ten thousand dollars a month for armed security or fifteen thousand dollars for? You get what I'm saying? Because it's like eventually, if you got your homie securing you or you securing yourself, eventually that's gonna go left. You get what I'm saying? It, that's not going to always work. So eventually, man, in life, man, when you want to be in the entertainment business, you want to be a celebrity or you want to be this, bro, you're going to have to get armed security, bro. It just will come with it. A lot of these young dudes, you know, by the time they step in the door, they are already convicted felons and all of that. So it's like, it's like, bro, they, they setting you up for failure. But it's your boy D's Media signing out. But uh, uh, everybody pray for uh FTO set, man, it ain't looking too good for him, man, after getting caught with a switch and drugs. But the feds picked it up, man, and we just going to wait and see. But it's your boy D's Media signing out. Peace, positivity, network growth. Let's save these kids. The D, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs>